All right, let me mute everybody. And then if you need to say anything, just unmute. So, so first off, we're gonna do as we do every week. And I want you to drop in the comments where your founders club points are and how many unique accounts you still need. Not how many you have, how many do you still need in order to, um, in order to get your founders club. We are in the second month of the third quarter. So it's time to kick it into high gear and it's time to go, G-O. Um, so over the last few months, how many of you guys have associated some four letter words with your singular business? <laughs> oh, I see some laughing. I see some head nodding. Well, I'm going to give you some four letter words tonight that you can associate with your singular business. And we're going to run these down. And first, I want to tell you the thing that, that you've got to ask yourself. And y'all know, y'all know me. I keep it real. I, I say things, even though some things I should probably keep my mouth shut on, but I want to keep it real because, you know, if, if you can't be real with you and you, and you give, you know, false pretenses and you say things like it's so easy when it's not, then how are you going to grow and how are you going to overcome and how are you going to persevere and how are you going to get that grit when you know you've got to plow through hard stuff, right? So um, one of the, um, one of the things that you know, I've heard lately is, um, oh, I just can't, I can't, nobody, nobody's wanting this. And, you know, I, I just can't find people and, you know, I'm, I'm talking to people, but nobody's signing up. And, you know, um, and when I, when I do these calls, I get people that schedule calls with me just like for, you know, um, just some motivation and some inspiration and stuff like that. And my thing is, is I start asking questions and I say, well, are you doing your, IPAs. Yes. That's always the answer. Yes. So I'll break it down. Have you written down your goals? Well, I'm going to. Or it's, yes, I've written down my goals. Okay. Well, what rank are you going for? And example, gold manager. Well, tell me, uh, tell me what your paper says. How are you, how have you broken down those 10,000 points? How are you going to get there? And it's like deer in the headlights haven't broken down their, they just wrote down their goals. So you've got a goal, but you don't have a roadmap of how to get there. So that's the first thing I tell them is, and this is not part of the four letter word yet, but um, when you write down your goals, you've got to be detailed so you can follow those, mark them off and be able to have a plan of how you're going to get to, to that goal. So for example, let's just say, in this group, you're going for director this month. That's 20,000 points. You are not going to sign up 100 X bundles to get those 20,000 points. You're not going to do it. So how are you going to get those 20,000 points? First off, the first thing you're going to ask is who are you going to help? We rise by lifting others, right? Who are you going to help and what are their goals? Because you can't write down and break down your goals if you don't know what your team's doing. So if you're not talking to your runners, then how in the world do you know what you can count on from them if you don't have a clue what they're going for? So that, that's one of the best things about duplication is when you've got, they've got to know what they're doing. You've got to know how to help them get to where they want to go in order to know how you're going to break down those 20,000 points. So let's say, um, you know, you've got a distributor that um, hits gold, you know, hits somewhere between silver and gold manager every single month. And they say, well, I'm going for platinum manager. So if they average 6,000 points a month, don't you think you need to spend some time and say, okay, you're going to go from six to 15. What are you going to do different? Who, who else are you going to help? How many new starts are you going to have? How many new brand partners? Because you're not going to get to 15,000. I don't care if it's been your goal for two years. You're not going to get there doing the same thing with the same people, you know? So you've got to find out what, what your team is willing to do and trying to do 
in order to get to where you want to go. So you take, and, and if somebody's hitting 6,000 and they've got a um, goal of platinum, how many points you think I'm going to count on for them? Not 15,000. I'm going to count on about, now I'm going to shout them out. They're going to get 15,000. It's going to be all over my goal thing, but they're going to get 15,000. But in my calendar with my stuff, I'm probably going to put 10,000 because if I can push them and have them strive for 15, you know, you reach for this, you reach for this moon and reach for the sun and land among the stars. I mean, I don't know what the saying is, something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm saying though, you know? Um, so always it, do not. And most of the time, if they say, well, I'm going to hit platinum, I'm like, well, why, why wait for platinum? Let's go for director, you know? But then I'm going to put on my paper, I'm going to count on them for 10,000 points. So I got to figure out where my other 10,000 is going to come from. Is it going to come from new managers? Is it going to come from new people that I'm going to help get quick start? Is it going to come from reorders? Is it going to come how much is in my subscription? You know, and you've got to have a game plan. You can't just say it. You can't just say, I'm going to get 10 founders club points or, or eight unique accounts. Who are those eight people? Who are the eight people? Are they people that are already on your downline that haven't hit rank yet? Are they going to be um, customers that you've signed up that you see some potential in? If you don't have a whiteboard or a piece of paper with your Founders Club goals, it's gonna be the same thing as just your regular monthly goals. You've got to break it down to know where your unique accounts are going to come from and you need to look at it every day. Now, will it change? Yes, it's going to change. You know, if you've got a customer that you, you know they are going to be good and they just refuse, you're going to switch that out with somebody else. And I would encourage you to go ahead and list your 16 unique accounts. That's what I did in order to get the, um, the trip, the $300 and the two extra nights. You've got to have 16 unique accounts. Wait, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, sorry. 14 unique accounts. So list out, go for all of it. You've got to have 250 points, 14 unique accounts. And if you're already saying, oh my God, I can't even get eight. You want me to get 14? Yeah, you can. So get out of your own way. So, okay, let's get to our four letter words that um, you can use to associate with your singular business. And the first one goes along, right along with that, avow. You've got to avow to to get to your goals that you set for yourself. A vow means making a promise to yourself. So a vow to keep going, a vow to not quit, a vow to reach the goals and not let anything stand in your way of what you set for yourself. And you do that by breaking it down. You do that by helping others. You do that by knowing what somebody else's goals are. You do that by all the things we just talked about. But you also do that because you're making a promise to yourself that this is what's going to get you financial freedom, that this is what's going to give you the vacations. This, this is what's going to give you money for retirement. This is what's going to give your kids college. This is what's going to pay for those weddings. This is going, this is the vehicle. So a vow to keep going and you're not going to quit. The second one is bash negativity. Quit with the stinking thinking. Nobody, nobody wants to be around a negative Nelly. Nobody wants to have that on their team. And it, it, it's not just that, but you've got to quit with the negative self-talk. You've got to quit with the, with the self-deprivation. You've got to quit with telling yourself all the things that you can't do and turn them around and start telling yourself that you are worthy, that you are amazing, that you are an executive, that you are going to Founders Club, that you are going to take three people with you. Start telling yourself the positive things and get rid of the negative things that you don't think you can do because you can do anything you set your mind to. There is not one thing that you cannot do if, unless you tell yourself you can't. So quit with the negative thinking. And if you're hanging around people that are talking negative, I'm sorry, but bye-bye. Bye. You, are, you become like the five people you surround yourself with. And if they are negative, if they are negative, if they are, you know, 
talking about other people, if they're, um, you know, being self degrading, you need to surround yourself with people who are going to uplift you and give you a, a, a mindset of, of positivity and affirmation. So bash the negativity in your own mouth and in others' mouths around you. Number three, take off the limits. Guess what the limits are in this business? The limits are the ones you put on yourself. That's right. Tammy says, I'll pee off. Yeah. The only limits are the ones that you set. You are the one that puts limits on what this is going to be for you. So get rid of it. Take them off. Take off all the limits because there are none unless you choose to put it on there. And it is a choice. Is it hard to think beyond what's in front of you? Absolutely. But that's what personal development does. That's what um, talking to other people does for you. Have someone else pour into you. If you don't have that believability and you think that you can only get to this certain step, like right here in front of you, talk to somebody who can pour that belief into you. Because there are no limits. None. There's no income cap. There's no limits to how many customers you can have. There's no limits to how many partners you can have. There's no limits to how much, um, how many ranks that you can advance. There's no limits on how many trips that you can earn. Just you. You're the only one that puts those limits on you. So take them off. The next one, and we've already talked about this a little bit, help you downline. Help somebody else get what they want, and that will give you financial freedom. You help enough people get what they want, and that is going to set you up for financial success forever. Sounds simple, doesn't it? I wish it was that easy. I wish it was just like, hey, let me help you. Hey, let me help you. It's, it's difficult to, because you've got to pour that belief into somebody else because so many people just do not think they're worthy, especially women, y'all. We, I did a Bible study with um, a Bible study group, and I think there's some of y'all on here that are actually in it. It's called Glorious Marriage Revolution, and it's a Bible. It's a it was a Monday night thing that we started back in um, oh gosh, I don't even remember 20, 2018 maybe. And um, one one week, she put a question out there, and she said how do you see yourself? And 98% said something to the effect of not good enough. That's out of 11,000 women, not good enough. That's sad, y'all. So if, if, you're, if that many women are thinking about that, and most of the people on our team are women, guess what they're thinking? They're thinking they're not good enough to do this. So you've got to help put all that belief into everybody else that's coming behind you because you know they need it. There's not one person on this earth that doesn't need an extra 500, 1,000, $2,000 a month right now. But so many just don't, they don't think they're good enough. They don't think they're worthy enough. They don't think they can do one more thing. They don't think they have time. It's always, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. And this is, you've got to think too, these are people that don't have the believability in this company like we do. So you've got to put that in there and you've got to help them see what can be. You've got to cast that vision. That's why vision calls are so important because it puts that, um, it, it shows all of the, the person that you're trying to help, all these different people that are actually putting that vision into them, that are giving that in inspiration to them so you've got to help others get what they want however that looks and most of the time again it's up here it's it's getting them to have that same kind of mindset that they can do it um the next one this one's muy importante especially for founders club find partners if you are not talking about being an ex-brand partner to every single person that that ask you about these products, then you are, you're missing it. Because if you start talking about 
being a partner, being an affiliate, doing all that, you can always fall back on the products and get a customer. But it's way, way harder to start them as a customer and then talk about, well, you can, you know, you can earn your money back. You can do all this. You've got to talk about it right from the initial onset. You've got to talk about being a brand partner. And I am doing now what I'm doing and I'm, I'm getting, um, I've gotten, I think now I've gotten since Feb the end of February, I think I've got 10 new brand partners. And it's all because I, especially this last um, month since we've got the double commissions, I don't know about y'all, I need some double commissions, people. You know, what I'm telling them is just like we would tell them there was a $14.95 member fee, we're telling them, I'm telling them there's a $49.95 affiliate fee that you're going to get. And guess what? As soon as you get your first two people, I'm going to rebate that. And I'll tell you why I'm going to do that. First, because I'm getting double commissions. So I'm already going to get, if, even if I get the, um, if they get the X plus or the X advance, I already more than made what I would have had they not been a brand partner. But even the X bundle, I mean, it's going to, it's like, I can't remember what the exact number, I think it's $7 is what it would cost if they didn't have any signups. But if they get two signups, I'm still going to make a profit more than what I would have. So, you got to think outside the box to get these partners. And then once, they, once they're a partner, and this is exactly what happened. This is, uh, I can give you the lady's name. She did not want to sell this. Flat out told me. I was like, well, I'm, I'm running a special. And um, she got the X advance. And I told her, I said, well, the X advance, then I'm rebating. I'm, I'm gifting an affiliate link for a year. Because... I made a lot of money with a, with an advance as a partner. So she's like, oh, well, okay, I'll do it if you're going to rebate it. And of course I rebated it because I still made like $35 even with the rebate. And so she didn't want to have anything to do with it. So the next day when I was talking to her, I said, well, you've already got your affiliate link. You may as well go ahead and post and just see, you know, if anybody wants to do anything, you won't have to do anything. I'll do it all for you. Y'all, she made a post and I'm in like seven chats. You, am I making her do anything? The only thing she has to do is set me up in the chat with them and introduce me and I'm doing everything, but she's watching. And we've got her affiliate link. So I don't even have to do anything. So as soon as I get one of these people to sign up, I won't get them to sign up on her account. And then I'm going to call her and say, hey, Let's go look at your Hopper wallet because you've already made money and you didn't even do anything. So you see, I mean, you've just got to tell them what to do. You've, that's how you find partners is you tell them what to do. You tell them, this is what we're going to do. This is how I'm going to help you. This is how this is going to be. This is only $49. And I have not had anybody tell me no. So, well, I did too. I had one person just say no. But she didn't say no until I told her she had to give me her social security. <laughs> then she said no. Then she realized what I was, I was like. So you just got to tell them. Just tell them. Don't ask. But you, those partners are out there. And it's just like um, we're doing a 30-day challenge in our group. And I see Vicki on here um, in our um, customer group. And yesterday morning, it was day three. And the challenge. I mean, I'm give, doing giveaways for the next 30 days. And the challenge was, um, you know, post, post this with your results. It's day three and I've already lost blank in two days. I'm so excited. That was it. So this girl that uh, is a customer of Vicky's sees that she goes and make a, makes a post, signs up as an affiliate, signs someone up as a brand partner, and I don't even know, I mean, Vicki, I don't even know how many chats, 10 plus chats, the girls got her in. And this, oh, she's, she's doing up. She's got her in a lot of chats. And I mean, all it was, was me telling them, go do this. I didn't ask. If you're in this group, go do this. And she did it. People will do what you tell them to do. That's how you find partners. Okay. Um, the next one is, oh, y'all. Push the live button. It's not press because press is five letters and push is four. Push the live button and go live. Let people see who you are and the real you and 
let them see your emotion. Let them see your expression. Let them see your conviction. Let them see your excitement. Let them see you and be excited about what you have. Talk about being a partner. Talk about having some extra income. Talk about, go live when you're at the gas station and say, look, this is this much, but singular, I don't, I don't even have to use my credit card. Talk about the grocery store. Talk about going and getting something extra. When you go into TJ Maxx or something, go into, I should have done it tonight because I bought a new rug and I really spent more than I should have. But, you know, I should have done that tonight. I should have said, thank you, Zingular. <laughs> I really like it. You know, think about those kind of things. Think about little things. It's just like, it always reminds me of Crystal Nichols that she joined, she's an ambassador and she joined because Robin went to Target and got something and she didn't have the money to do it. That's why she joined and she's an ambassador. You never know what's going to trigger somebody. So go live all the time. Let them into your life. Let them in. People want to feel like they know you and they're a part of you. That's how they start trusting you. And um, push the live button. You can do it. Don't let fear stop you. The next one is jump in and run with our promo with that 40% commission. Jump in and run with it yourself. And you do that by the things we've already talked about, but get your people to jump in and run with it because this is the last month for it. And that can be huge. I mean, it can be a huge boost to your income this month. It could be a huge boost to, um, to the people that you're bringing in and people do what they, what they know. So if you bring someone in as a partner and you're not giving them a choice and you're just telling them, then they're going to do the same thing and make sure you help them. Make sure that you help the people they're signing up, treat them as your front line until you get them that person established till they know what to do, because if they're confused, they're not going to do anything. So jump in, run with it, help others with it and make sure they know how to do it. And then call one more person. Pick up the phone and call one more person every day. When you're done, call one more. Post one more time. If you post on your Facebook, your Instagram, your stories, your Facebook stories, your Instagram stories, post in your results group, your customer page, find one place to post one more time. And then make one more comment. And then we're going to stop right there for a second because I want to talk to you guys about, um, oh gosh, Marina. Um, somebody might need to help me with her last name. It's Marina Ann Simone, I think. Um, hang on. Let me go look. I don't want to make sure. It's, I think it's S-I-M-O-N-E, but I want to make sure. Because if you're not following her, she's really, really good. Hang on. She's on Instagram. And let me see. I should be able to just press search. Okay, M-A-R-I-N-A-A-N-N-S-I-M-O-N-E. And she has got a method that she has been using to bring in distributors. And what she does is she finds people that are influential, people that are um, already on your Facebook page. You can do it on your Facebook or Instagram that have a big following that post regularly. And she's going in and every day she's liking or hearting three posts. She's commenting on three posts and she's replying to three stories. And she's doing that for three days. And apparently what it's doing is it's triggering those algorithms to make her see every single thing that's on your Facebook page that you're posting and everything that you're doing. So you become very visible to her, which is why that post one more time is so important. So you want to make sure that when someone looks at your page, first of all, that it looks like you're open for business and they know what you're doing. Cause I, I, that drives me crazy when someone, you know, it, when I know someone's doing something, and you go and you search their page and you don't have a clue what they're doing. So make sure they know what, that, what you've got, especially the partner stuff. And 
post about 40% commission this month because that is un unheard of in this industry. So post about that, post about stuff, but um, do the 333. Three, three. So I'm doing, and, and I don't know, I mean, the, the training was very, very short on it, but I have got me a spiral notebook and I am doing um, 15 people a day. So I've got 15 people and I'm doing those 15 people for three days. And then I'm going to do another list of 15 people and do those for three days. And I'm just going to keep a running total on my Facebook to see who is interacting with me. And then after the three days and after I do that, when I get to that fourth day, I'm going to go and make sure they're in the adventure page and start maybe tagging them in some stuff there. Or I'm going to figure out a way to get me visible but I'm being very selective and I'm not doing anyone that doesn't have at least a thousand friends because I've got, I, there's so many people on our Facebook pages that we don't know that we haven't looked at. I mean, and um, your birthdays, you can sort through people when you're doing your birthday post every morning, which I usually, you know, when I send my birthday messages, I just kind of glance and see if they're active, if they're not my, my things that I do in the morning, and Tammy helped me with this, is I make sure that they're in my results group. I make sure that they're actually active and they're not dead. So, and I do that before I send a birthday message. Y'all have done it. It's bad. Don't do that. Make sure that, make sure the other people posting on their page before you send a message is, I hope you have a happy birthday. And then you find that later, say, in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that because it's, it's not nice when you get a message from their one from their child that says oh my mom died so make sure they're alive so so that's how that's what i have been doing um with my four letter words so do a little more you're gonna have to do more if you didn't earn the trip last year you're going to have to do more this year if you want to earn the trip than you did last year because you didn't earn it. If you want to find more partners, you're going to have to do something different than what you've been doing if you're not getting any, right? Can't keep doing the same thing and expect different results. Even it, you got to you gotta answer this question. And I know the answer, but who wants this? I want you to raise your hand. Do you want it? Do you want it? Okay, put your hand down. Do you really want it? Raise your hand if you really want it. Put your hand down. So every single person raised their hand that I could see. So if you really want it, are you willing to make the sacrifices it's going to take in order to get it? Are you willing to get up early? Are you willing to go to bed late? Are you willing to get outside your comfort zone? Are you willing to do things scared? Are you willing to do things even if something's not happening in your time? Are you willing to do the things that um, most people want to get what most people can't have because they're not willing to do it? There's a reason why 0.25% of people, of distributors are executives because people want what that what what that is but they're not willing to do what it takes to get there so you're on this group and you're showing up and you haven't quit so i believe you really want it so if you really want it you're going to have to get out of your own way you're going to have to take off the limits you're going to have to do things you haven't done before you're going to have to talk to more people you're going to have to start getting very proficient talking about um, being a partner you're going to have to make that part of your vocabulary and you're going to, it's going to have to roll off your tongue. Your business story needs to roll off your tongue as easy as your product story. Practice it every single day. And you need to get on the phone with people and tell them that story. Tell them how it's changed your life. Go live so people can see you and know you. Keep adding friends. If you don't have 5,000 friends on your friends list and you're not taking people off to put new people on every day, you're going to have to do more. You have to do more. If you want more, and if you want it like you say you want it, you're going to have to do the things that may not be comfortable in order to get that. Because it's not easy. It's, this is not easy. It's simple. It is a simple process, but this is hard work. 
But my gosh, making six figures a year shouldn't shouldn't be easy. It's not something that's going to fall out of the sky. And did you know, as a platinum director, platinum director, you'll be making six figures a year. So you got to fight for it and you got to go for it and you got to do things that other people won't do. And I love what somebody said, I can't remember. I don't know who just said that. Let me see. Yeah. If it was easy, everyone would be doing it and no one would ever quit if it was easy, right? No one would ever quit. We would still have 577 people on this Zoom if it was easy, but it's not. It takes guts. It takes grit. It takes determination. Sometimes it takes tears. <laughs> it's taking tears for me sometimes, you know, but it takes a stickability. It takes an I can do attitude. It takes helping other people. It takes getting rid of the negativity. It takes keeping the promises you're making to yourself. And then it takes doing more than what you've ever done before. But it's there for the taking and you can do it. There's nothing that can get in your way. If you decide you want it and you're going to do it, you can have it. Anybody got any comments or questions? Anybody want to add anything? Anyone? Well, hey, yeah. Um, I'd like to add that um, I think it's really important that we one on one talk to our people and find out their why because I found that some of their whys have changed because um, we're in a di different season and sometimes their why is a little bit bigger and a little bit more emotional. And um, so I've had the opportunity to make one-on-one -on -one calls um, to my girls and just figure out what their why is. And um, that way I know how hard to push and where to push and where to look and where to guide them. Because if they just want their products paid for, I'm wasting my time. Mm -hmm. And so we just got to figure out what their whys are. Yeah. I just added that to my list. So I'm going to do the four letter words for nine at nine in the morning. But I think that's, an, I think that's huge, Tracy. You've yeah. got to know, you've got to know what motivates people. Right. So, so I had been pushing this one gal so hard and she's like, you know, I really just, I just want my products paid for. I thought, okay. And that was actually a relief because my expectations were way up here and she's down here. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we just had to have that, we just had to communicate. So that, that helped a lot, save some time for myself and her, you know, I don't want to prolong her agony, making her do all the things and she really didn't want it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's, that's huge. So thank you. Yes, anybody else, anybody else got a four letter word they want to use? <laughs> All right. I love y'all so much. And thanks for, thanks for jumping on tonight. And I hope you got something out of it. And um, way to go. Um, way to go, Heather, for face to face. Woo woo. Good job. All right. Y'all have a blessed night. And we will see you next Thursday.